Hello everyone, welcome to another Howtex unboxing video. Today we have the GoPro Hero 5 Black, which just came out recently. Uh, this is the latest version of the popular GoPro action cameras. Um, the notable difference from the version 4 is that this one is actually waterproof and therefore does not need to be in the uh, waterproof case to protect against the water. Um, so first let's do a quick unboxing to get inside. A uh, key difference between the previous versions of the GoPro and the new one is that it's actually easier to unbox. So first well, let's break the seal. There we go. Uh, as you know if you've ever tried to unbox a uh, GoPro 4 or earlier, it's quite a pain to get open. This one promises to be easier. Promises to. Oh, wait. There we go. Slides out, and now we have the camera. Let's take a look. Okay, so now let's just slide it out. You have to lift up this rubber tab, pinch, and slide forward to get it out of its mounting and now as you can see it's kind of a locking mechanism with the rubber tab that's different than the old version uh, I think the key difference is versus the GoPro 4 there's no silver and black versions there's just a black and in this case the black is the one that comes with the touch screen Despite being waterproof without the case, it still comes with a protective case. Let's pop it open and take the GoPro itself out, if it'll come out. So this is the protective case, which is no longer waterproof, but still provides basically the connection to the mounting. Uh, same as the old version. Uh, and then we also have access to the buttons and obviously inside and out uh, so still important but not quite as critical as the old version uh, and now the camera itself this is actually larger than a GoPro 4 unfortunately I don't have one right here to compare side by side so this one overall is larger but if you put it inside here it's actually smaller significantly smaller than the GoPro uh, 4 with the waterproof case. Uh, so let's see, we basically have these locking waterproof compartments. So if you push and slide at the same time, now you have access to the ports. So we have the mini HDMI and also a USB port. And the key thing here is that this is actually USB-C and not the, I think it was the mini USB old style port. Uh, another key thing is that we have now waterproof seals on these case doors. So we have that one uh, here on this side. This is the mode button on the bottom to get at the battery. You have to push and slide. And the battery is not in. Uh, the other key thing is right here you can see this is where the micro SD card fits in. No battery we can't turn on just yet so let's continue with the unboxing. So what else do we have in the container? Okay let's get started. Do we really want to read the documentation or let's just skip it? Uh, see what else is in here. And as you can expect, we have, probably most important, is the battery. Key thing in this case with the GoPro 5 is that the battery is a different shape and also capacity than the GoPro 4. And so if you have an old GoPro, don't expect to use your battery from that one as a spare battery in this one. Especially if you've bought multiple batteries, you're going to be really disappointed because you're going to have to do it all over again. Total capacity is actually slightly larger than the old version. So this is 1220 milliamp hours. 
the old version was I think 1140 um, so we have the battery uh, we also have ultra important USB cable um, so this is the USB-C which is the new default USB mini cable that you'll find on the new Macintosh uh, MacBook Airs and the new MacBook Pro which was recently announced um, unfortunately from what uh, it appears in the documentation this only works at USB 2.0 speeds not USB 3.0 speeds so if you're going to be downloading your videos through the USB into your computer it's going to be a bit slower than it could be so maybe that's something that they can improve in the firmware or that will be improved in the next version but uh, a little bit disappointing so we have the cable uh, and now we have two extra of these mounting brackets that have double-sided tape on them basically so in this case if you wanted to put one on your dashboard of your car or perhaps on the tank of your motorcycle uh, the key thing is here this one is flat this one is not flat so uh, depending on where you're putting it I'm, perhaps on the top of your helmet this would fit if your helmet's not too pointy uh, okay so we have that anything else in the box it looks like it's just empty filler so pretty light on the documentation and accessories uh, in this case because the camera is waterproof and comes with pretty much everything you need um, for basic videos it's actually pretty good um, I guess the key thing is when we look at it we have now mode button on off slash shutter uh, and I think that's one microphone and a second microphone probably we don't have a battery in here let's see if there's any juice on here so again we have to open this door and it goes in this way So it lets you actually lock the door without it being in there. Okay. It is a little bit of a struggle, but uh, let's get, see if we got it in there. Okay, turn it on. Does it work? Oh, so we have a nice uh, screen here, monochrome one. And now, uh, oh, I have to take the shield off. Get this off. So the dog and the kayak will forever be captured here. Let's save that. Okay, so first thing, what language do you want? I guess it's touch screen, right? So I can just select. Do you want Japanese, Chinese, Spanish? Is there any other options? Oh, it scrolls, okay, good, English. And then check, time, should be fine. Okay, do we want to turn on GPS? This is another new feature of the new GoPro 5 is it actually has GPS built in uh, and the key value of this for you is that your videos and photos will have the geotagging capability the downside of it is if you're leaving GPS on every time you're taking a video or a picture it's gonna wear your battery down faster so let's try the tour see if this is clear enough okay so the mode button of course we saw that on the side short press powers on long press powers off mode to switch between photo and video mode so this is basically the same as the GoPro 4 uh, add highlight tags while recording so of course this is maybe if you're if you're just leaving it to record for you know your entire ski slope ride down your entire run on the ski slope uh, it might be let's say a 10 minute video that you're filming but you want to remember uh, you want to be able to make it easy to find right after you did that right awesome jump you push this tag button to highlight in your video file where the key things that you actually want to go back and look at later on so that you don't have to sift through all 10 minutes if you just want to find that one thing okay shutter button is here on top and uh, obviously it's the same as a shutter button on a regular camera quick capture when your GoPro is off press shutter to power on and start recording automatically short press for video long press for time-lapse photos can't go wrong okay so now we are in the settings mode uh, we can just like on the old GoPros you can adjust your 
your uh, video type and also advanced settings. Okay. Ah, key thing on there, we just sort of snuck out of this, is that they actually have a video stabilization um, built into this camera, which is great if you're doing things like uh, biking or skateboarding where you have kind of a high frequency noise in there. Okay, so to find the preferences, swipe down. Media, swipe left, pops out. Exit, swipe down to return to the main screen. Okay, mobile apps. Uh, this is actually quite detailed. So just like on the old versions of the GoPro, you can download the GoPro app, uh, which is now called Capture, onto your phone. And the key feature with that is that you can basically use it as a remote. So especially if your camera is mounted somewhere, um, let's say on the top of your car, uh, this is an easy way of switch it on and off while you're uh, without having to physically touch the camera. Um, and then you can also review the videos or photos you've taken, uh, download them into your phone, and then share them. So there is uh, also the ability to do quick edits and then also splice multiple clips together within the app. Uh, and then I guess they have a service which can allow you to a cloud service to upload your photos and videos to the cloud for easy access on your phone. Okay, so we are done with the tour. Okay, so I've charged up the battery some, so let's play around with the camera a little bit and show how it works. First of all, let's put an SD card in, so let's pop the battery case open. Uh, this is our micro SD card, and the metal connectors facing down slide in this small slot between the battery and the edge and clicks in place. Okay, and then the tricky part is to slide this waterproof seal in place, making sure that your camera is protected if it goes in water. Okay, so let's power this thing on. Similar to the previous uh, GoPro 4, so you can adjust the mode using the mode button here. We can choose between video mode, photo mode, burst mode, and time-lapse photo. So let's stick to video. And within here we have now field of view, frames, frame rate, and resolution. So if you click on each, if you touch any of these, you can see the options available basically scroll through them. So let's try 1080 uh, and just touch it. And now let's change the frame rate, especially when you're at the lower resolution you have literally, what is this, this is nine different frame rate choices uh, from 24 frames per second which would be PAL, regular PAL standard frame rate, up to 240. 10 times the regular frame rate. So let's try 30. And now the field of view. We have a number of choices from narrow to linear, medium, wide, and super view. And linear. I believe is defined as uh, at the edge where there's no fisheye effect and anything beyond that you start getting distortion at the edges. Super view it's very clear that this edges of this table are very distorted. Okay so that's the basics. Um, you can then also do voice control. So voice control is activated Let's give that a try as well, okay. GoPro, record video. GoPro, stop video. That was not too bad. GoPro, take a photo. GoPro, record burst. Oh, that's a work video. GoPro, stop video. 
GoPro shoot burst. GoPro shoot burst. So not perfect, but it does work. Uh, the problem is I think if you're in a noisy environment, it's, the rate of errors is going to be a lot higher. But in a quiet area, it's a pretty good hands-free control. Okay, that's enough for today. Please check out our next video where we will show some demonstration video from the GoPro Hero 5 in the field. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more electronics unboxings and how-to videos. See you next time.